Welcome to the Health Coach Nation podcast. My name is Haley Rowe, and I'm a sales and marketing coach and LinkedIn lead generation service provider. I work with health, life, and mindset coaches and online service-based business owners to help them get more sales, shift their time to the client generating activities instead of just the busy work, and overcome that social media overwhelm. Let's get into the show. If you're ready to take on your next paying clients, I have good news. My free four basics of client attraction and how to stand out class is live at hayleyrow.com slash client hyphen attraction. In the class, you're going to learn the top two traits I recommend for most coaches and entrepreneurs if they really want to turn this into a career. You're going to learn how you can build demand for your services and stop getting crickets on your posts. You're going to learn the sales roadmap I used to improve my sales conversion rate and help my clients do the same. And you're going to learn so much more. So go to HaleyRow.com slash client hyphen attraction and get your copy of the class today. I want to share with you a big lesson I learned from getting to interview Amy Porterfield. And if you are a business owner who sometimes feels fear about uncertainty or fear about going live or fear about sales, we are going to talk a little bit about fear today because I was on a podcast and we were talking about this topic. And I think so often we think that the world's going to end if we mess up, if we make a mistake, if we're not perfect. And really, at the end of the day, the worst case scenario is just a feeling, a feeling of maybe humiliation or a feeling of embarrassment or feeling maybe of shame if you made a typo or you did something wrong and you make it mean something about you, which um, sometimes we tend to do, right? But the truth is you making a mistake, you doing something scary, you trying something with some fear, the worst case scenario is you're just gonna feel a feeling and you're probably gonna get through it because so far you have a 100% survival rate, you're still here. It won't kill you, you'll get stronger, you'll get better at feeling feelings, and really that's part of the game in entrepreneurship is getting really good at delaying gratification, being patient, feeling uncomfortable emotions, and still taking action. And not letting your feelings derail you in business or help, or cause you to make very emotionally reactive at, at decisions, okay? So where I wanted to go with this, and the story I wanted to share with you is a couple months ago, back in February, Amy Porterfield's team reached out to me and said, you know, hey, we want you to interview Amy and her new book's coming out and, you know, we'd love for you to be on our tour of interviews. And I was so pleasantly surprised that they wanted me to interview Amy Porterfield, which who, you, if you don't know who that is, she's one of the biggest names in uh, the digital course space. Um, and I think of her as like the Tony Robbins of online you know, course creation and things like that. So anyways, I, um, they thought that we complement each other because I do marketing and sales coaching and consulting and LinkedIn lead gen. And I was of course going to say yes, but I have to tell you, I was super nervous. I had a lot of fear. I thought to myself, oh my gosh, that's way too big of a guest for me to interview. Why would they want me? You know? <laughs> so I had this fear of like messing up or not asking her good questions or asking her the same questions everybody else is gonna ask or something going terribly wrong during the interview, like our internet cutting out or whatever. And I still said yes, because as entrepreneurs, we do things with fear, we do it anyways. And I prepared my questions, I practiced, you know, um, and then the day of the day of came and I, was so nervous and I think the morning of, I did something dumb right beforehand where like I moved my questions to not where I was gonna be sitting for the interview and I think I forgot them or something. And so we go live, she couldn't come on to live cause she was having tech issues. I had to restart it. I'm like, oh no, this isn't gonna happen anymore. She's not coming, whatever. She was having technical issues. Um, and then she finally you know, came on and we did the interview and it was only 15 minutes. But during that 15 minutes, I could sense in my body like I was tight, I my throat felt a little dry, etc. But because I had put in so many reps, it was like 
the world had been preparing me for this moment because I had done so many interviews. I'd done so many Instagram lives before that. I'd done so many podcast episodes before that, that even in my most nervous state, you probably couldn't tell that I was super nervous just because it was like, you know, I had done that so many times that you wouldn't be able to tell. And normally I don't get nervous to interview people, but for this one, I was nervous. And so it taught me though, that you should not, uh, you have to be able to understand that the worst case scenario is just that feeling and probably nobody else knows you're feeling it. And that you are big enough to try to play bigger and try bigger things. And what I really learned from this interview is that I want to uh, position my, you know, take a little bit of um, more playing bigger opportunities, meaning um, ask for bigger podcast guests, put myself in bigger summits and things like that. And instead of telling myself a limiting belief that, oh no, that's too, you know, I'm too small for that or whatever, really owning up to, no, actually, I could add value to this. I could get this great podcast guest. It's worth it to try. It's worth it to ask. And so often I think fear comes from either worrying about what the outcome of something's going to be and or thinking that um, we don't know what the outcome is going to be. So why even bother trying? I'm fearful of wasting my time. I'm fearful of wasting effort. But the truth is there is no such thing as waste if you are learning and if you are taking intentional action because what the other option is is just staying stagnant, not playing big, not trying things and never getting the possibility of the positive outcome. Just rejecting yourself up front and not doing the things that you know could grow you and expand you because you're letting fear win, because you're letting fear of, I don't wanna waste effort, I don't wanna waste time or whatever, letting that win. And we can't let our feelings win over us. We can't let fear cause us to stay stagnant or stay in analysis paralysis because a perfect idea in your head or something that you wanna do but you're not doing because you fear maybe it's not good enough yet or maybe you're not big enough yet or whatever, it adds no value to the world versus if you go out there and you pursue it and you even pursue it imperfectly, even though my interview with Amy wasn't perfect, it still added value to so many people. People got stuff out of it. So I want you to shift in your business out of not just letting fear take over and run the show, but actually leaning into fear and saying, what's bothering me about this? What's making me nervous about this? Prepare what you can but trust the rest. Trust that you'll be able to feel the feelings that come up along the way. And it's okay if it's not gonna be perfect, not expecting perfection, but put playing bigger, doing expansive things for yourself and becoming the person who would do those big growth-oriented fear-based activities on a regular basis so that you get really good at feeling fear and processing fear and not letting it stop you. So, I want you to share with me in the comments, what is one thing that's really outside of your comfort zone that you're not gonna let fear win and you are gonna actually take the first step to put yourself out there. And if you are looking to do this on a regular basis and be in an environment where that is encouraged, where you are supported, where you have tools to help you get it done faster, I wanna invite you to one of my two programs one is the Zero to Hero Coach Inner Circle, which takes you through everything you need to build your business, how to generate sales, how to market online. It's like the A to Z, very hands-on. I'm with you every week, twice a week on our group coaching calls. You have private laser sessions if you do my early bird enrollment. You have uh, daily access to a community for support. You're getting support in my whole FAST framework, which is the uh, followers, action, sales, time management, and transformation. So how do you grow your audience? How do you create content that's compelling? How do you make sure people are interested in your actual offer? Um, sales, so develop, you know, how do you lead your discovery calls? How do you coach through objections? What's your pricing? What's your program look like? What is it gonna need to be created? Um, time management, how to focus on the client generating activities, and then transformation, as I said, like what's the personal transformation required to reach your goals? getting out of your comfort zone, getting new skills that you need, uh, overcoming those mindset blocks, and at the same time, 
um, being able to transform lives and making sure that the transformation of your program is clear, making sure you know what makes you stand out, making sure you have testimonials you can use in your marketing. That's really what we go through in the Coach Inner Circle. However, I do also have the Thriving Coach membership. And that can be a good one if you are in a place in your business where you want a monthly focus and you want accountability and you want to uh, be able to start to brush on those that FAST framework I just mentioned, but in a way that um, is very affordable, very, you know, we do a monthly training call based on requests, a monthly Q&A where you can submit your questions and get those answered, um, have accountability, as I said before, and, you know, it's a monthly, month to month type of membership. So if you have questions about either of these opportunities and you are wanting to stop letting fear win and actually take more decisions that help you become the bold, courageous business owner who's crushing it, uh, let me know and go to HaleyRow.com if you wanna book your free strategy consult. But I can't wait to hear what your dare is this month that you're gonna do regardless of fear coming along with you, not thinking it's bad to have fear, not thinking something's gone wrong, but just knowing all it is is a feeling. You don't need to let it run your life. You can ride along with you in the passenger seat and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks so much for listening to this podcast. And if it's really helpful for you, I'd really appreciate if you share it and or leave a written podcast review. This tells the podcast sites that our show is useful and it will be promoted to more people that way. Thanks again.